Hey, what's good, fam? It's Kyle Henderson of BamaInsider.com coming to you on Thursday, February 25th. Currently, the Alabama Crimson Tide is working out during their fourth quarter program. We'll talk more about these photos in just a second that were released by Alabama football. But before we do, definitely hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe. We appreciate you more than you know. Here's a great shot of Bryce Young. Now, everybody wants to know what he's going to do in his second season at Alabama. Limited repetitions during the 2020 season. But, you know, it's good to see him getting some work in. Fourth quarter program is a great time for these guys to build some continuity. In this photo right here, you got DeMarco Hellams on the left. You got Jordan Battle on the right. Two of Alabama. Alabama's returning safeties along with Daniel Wright. Plenty of experience when we look to the Alabama secondary. Evan Neal at 6'7", 360 pounds. Nobody wears 360 pounds better than Evan Neal, who I feel, at least in my opinion, is the best returning tackle in all of college football. You could probably say the same for even the last season. I mean, this guy has Sunday, uh, playing on Sundays, written all over him, John Mechie. Now, when you look at a player like John Mechie and you look at Alabama's wide receiving unit, they lose Jalen Waddle, they lose Devontae Smith, However, you return a lot of experience with John Mechie, caught for close to a thousand yards, smooth route runner, big hands, going to be another Alabama wide receiver that is making plays on Saturdays. Justin Abogbe, now Alabama's defensive line, I think is really has a lot of depth, right? You got Justin Abogbe, you got DJ Dell returning, Tim Smith who played a little bit as a freshman. And then you got more experienced guys like Justin Abogbe, Fidarian Mathis, and then even LeBron Ray, who you're gonna see here in this next clip. As you can see, he has a brace on his elbow. Uh, he's dealt with a couple of nagging injuries these last couple of seasons, but good to see him um, getting some work in during the fourth quarter program. It's really just uh, strength and conditioning right now. But if LeBron Ray can get to 100% health, you gotta expect him to play a pivotal role for Alabama's defense in 2021. Been hearing some really good things about two freshmen that are early enrollees, of course, uh, Jaquinty McKinstry, one of the top uh, athletes out of Alabama in the class of 2021 at that corner position. And then you have Christian Leary, a guy that will be competing at the slot position along with Slade Bolden, Jojo Earl. So Alabama has, um, you know, quite a few early enrollees on board like they do every year. Heard some good things about Jaquincy and Christian early on. Of course, other guys are, um, you know, getting to know the system, getting acclimated to the program. Keep an eye on Quindarius Robinson. He's on the left right here working with William Anderson. Both these guys came in last year to Alabama. Everybody saw what William Anderson did. Um, I think Quentin Darius Robinson, when he does get some opportunities, I think you're going to be really impressed with his um, overall abilities to make plays on the defensive side of the ball. Very highly touted player. Um, and, and I think as kind of you look at the roster management, Quindarius Robinson is going to get some opportunities during the 2021 season. A couple more photos to go before we close out. Again, these are photos from Alabama's fourth quarter program. You got Ronald Williams on the left, and then you got Christian Story on the right. Um, when you look to Alabama's secondary, you got a ton of experience, as we talked about. But Ronald Williams uh, dealt with an arm injury last year, and then Christian Story didn't get a lot of opportunities. But this year, keep an eye on those two because I think they're definitely going to get their name called. Slade Bolden, a guy that we've talked about plenty, caught for nearly 300 yards during the 2020 campaign at that slot position, returns with a lot of experience, very dynamic route runner, um, just an overall great athlete. Last photo to roll through. This is Brian Robinson. You look at that Alabama running back unit completely loaded with a lot of talent. The veteran experience will come from Brian Robinson. He's played at 52 games at the University of Alabama. Good to see a local product at a Hillcrest right here in Tuscaloosa doing his thing back for his extra senior season. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Definitely hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We appreciate you more than you know. Coming to you from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, this is Kyle Henderson of BamaInsider.com.